the YouTube team, Zinguestiga Casadores Gilendez, decided to venture into the depths of the abandoned buildings. As they tiptoed through the eerie halls, their hearts raced with anticipation. Suddenly, their eyes fell upon a mysterious ritual site hidden within the darkness. Curiosity filled their minds, urging them to explore further. Flames suddenly roared to life, engulfing the ritual site in an inferno of darkness. Dark magic was at play, causing alarm bells to ring as the flames ignited. No further exploration was needed. Cautiously stepped into the church, their senses heightened by the eerie silence. A sudden sharp noise pierced the air. It was like a clap of thunder, only closer, louder. Their hearts skipped a beat in anticipation. What could it be? Another tremor echoed through the walls, reaching deep into their bones. The sound grew even more deafening as they tiptoed through the darkness, their eyes straining to pierce the veil of blackness. And then, like a ghostly cascade, flowers began to descend from the ceiling. Petals gently twirled and floated as if guided by an unseen hand. Were these ethereal blossoms a whispered offering from the elusive ghost priest? Thoughts raced through their minds, painting vivid pictures of a benevolent spirit watching over them. Perhaps this spirit so long feared was not the embodiment of evil they had imagined. Maybe he was simply reaching out, offering them a spectral gift as a sign of peace. The church seemed to exhale, releasing the tension that had gripped them. And as they stood there surrounded by falling flowers and the enigmatic presence of the ghost priest, they realized that sometimes things aren't always what they seem. Uma 
Ali, caraca! Ali, ali, você! In the dark and empty hallways of Sand Hayden Sanatorium, a frightening tale is unfolding. The truth of its murky past looms large, casting a sinister shadow on the present. John, the mysterious ghost hunter from the popular YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter, ventures into the haunted asylum in search of the truth. Amidst whispered specters and bone chilling echoes, he seeks to uncover the secrets that lie within. This desolate asylum, burdened with a history of torment, has witnessed the suffering of countless souls. Suddenly, in the dimly lit corridors, strange noises fill the air. John wonders if he really is alone. Could you make a sound again? Again, it's hard to tell with some of these noises. If there's anyone down here, could you make a noise of some sort? If that was you, could you do that again? John becomes increasingly convinced that there is something beyond the doors. Okay, I'm starting to think there's something beyond these doors here. Whoa, what was that? John spots a figure and reacts with surprise. Dude, I think I just saw something. Oh my god, I just went into that room! Dude, it just flew into here. What the? Did you just go into this room? I need to go in there now. I think I just heard you. Oh! oh! Oh my god. Okay, you really spooked me there. I did not expect that. Did you just knock on a wall? Could you knock on it again? She is communicating with me right now. Are you here because you have tuberculosis? Yeah. How old are you, ma'am? Oh my God, what was that? Dude, that sounded like a person. Hello? Oh my god. Oh god. Dude. What the f? 
Okay, from all here. Hello? I'm gonna cry for help. Could you appear again? <gasps> Whoa, dude! I just got that in the freaking camera! You think I'm lying? Make a noise. Okay, those were footsteps. Oh, shit. Damn, these stairs. I definitely heard that. Is my eyes blinked or something? No freaking way. Yes, ma'am. I could use your help. Could you walk up to me? Oh my freaking God. That was the freaking creepiest thing I've ever heard. Something about a baby crying. Well, what the heck was that? That legit sounded like a door. It was heavy too. Hello? I gotta go up there. Look. Make a sound if you did. Okay, I heard that. Did you knock on this door? <gasps> Thank you. Could you knock on it again? <gasps> Whoa! Dude, look, look. Nothing, there's nothing. What the? Dude, something just passed by that. If there's anyone here with me, could you yell out your name? No fucking way, dude. Holy, f oh my God, I wish I caught that on camera. I caught the tail end of it, but not the, oh man, I should have just stayed here. I keep hearing strange noises down here. What is that? Okay, okay, that was a moan. That was a moan. It's getting closer, holy f Okay, 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 okay. I'm panicking, I'm panicking, I cannot panic down here. That's the worst thing I can do. It's too dangerous down here, I'm starting to really
Is this where they kept your body? Oh, holy sh! Dude, I felt it. I felt it run through me. Make that sound again. If that's all you can do, then I guess I'm gonna be here for the rest of the night. Oh. Okay. Holy sh Alright. It's getting louder. Oh. Holy sh State your name. Oh God, dude! Wow. Holy! Shit. Oh God! Oh God! Hello? <laughs> All right, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I forgot my bag. Oh my god! As the haunting experiences escalate, John reaches his breaking point. Filled with a sense of dread, he realizes he cannot stay in this place any longer. photo. It's a figure, standing by the beds of both her granddaughter and seven-month-old grandson. A figure with bulging eyes, claw-like hands, and two horn-like marks on the top of its head. This is nuts. I mean, this is one of those things that you see and it feels on just a really significant level like you are seeing something not only paranormal or supernatural but something malevolent Kazem Kazem Eh mimi cepat 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 Tengok tu kursi tu pasal Eh Tengok 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 dia Juga ah Kita tengok jap Saya tak berani nak pergi. Hey. As Mike from the Beckett Wagner YouTube channel follows his insatiable curiosity, he finds himself in the eerie depths of an abandoned school's old elevator. Tempted by a mysterious key, he unlocks the dormant machinery, unknowingly setting off a series of sinister events. Top floor. 
And the reason I'm showing this is because the first time ever I think I might have a way to turn it on. It's a long shot, but recently I found a um, key, a ring of keys, that the maintenance shop, so I just pull out one of the keys here. I've got this one in my hand now, and I think it might go to the elevator machine room. It opens a lot of doors, so I think it might actually be a master key, but I'm going to try to open With the With the elevator, elevator now active, it, Mike steps inside and descends further into the dark school. Go see what's down there. Bro. Bro. Oh my god, wow, that worked. Alright. This is the elevator machine room. It sounds like only one way to be sure. Get out of here. It's on. Second floor part. Main lobby basement. Soon do we have a basement? Excited yet apprehensive, Mike decides to explore the basement further. He notices caution tape with dusty tape on the other end. There's tape there. Tape on the caution tape is like covered in dust on the other end. It's not even sticky anymore. Is this like taped off at one point? Hold on. Does this go across? It goes right across. It's 6.50, we gotta, like 6.50 sign, we gotta go back at 7.30. I came all this way, I did all this. And it's not, like, there's probably nothing, it's probably a construction. I'm locked, and wow. Okay. It's a shoe. Mike's heart races as he discovers an old shoe lying beneath the auditorium. Shoe on the ground. Who's the shoe? I had no clue this is here. It's like right under the auditorium or something. It's also locked. What the? Hold on. He hadn't expected to find anything like this, especially after years of neglect. The mysterious atmosphere and locked doors add to the eerie right. ambience. Determined to uncover more, That's Mike explores weird. a classroom. Yeah, classroom. Oh my God. Floppy disks. It's been like 15 years since anyone's been down here. We, we have a music department, but it's like upstairs on the top floor now. Yeah. Door being locked, okay. Yep. Great. Stay calm. I still have still the key right here. 
made mechanical. I know, it, 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 I'd rather get in trouble with you. Um. It's... It's stuck down. It's like locked down now. The discoveries he makes down there leave him both fascinated and unsettled. Okay, you guys have to watch this video carefully. So this lady saying this so you clearly see this deer has two heads, right? Watch this. I'm telling you, there's some weird shift in the freaking universe or CERN is effect. Watch this. The head, there's only one head now. Where'd the other head go? Where'd the other head go? Masukin tubuh gua. 
Rasukin tuh buku. Kamera ngeblur, kamera ngeblur, kamera gua ngeblur. Astagfirullahalazim, kamera gua ngeblur. Astagfirullahalazim. Allahu akbar la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Bentar, record dulu, mang record dulu. Allahumma sholli wa sallim ala sayyidina Muhammad. Matanya keluar, Allahu akbar. Allahu akbar la ilaha illallah kamera ngeblur. Allahumma sholli wa sallim ala sayyidina Muhammad. Wa ala ali sayyidina Muhammad. Dia ngambang. Mata kamera gua ngeblur, kamera gua ngeblur, kamera gua ngeblur. Astagfirullahalazim. Udah, udah. This mother caught this little girl waking up in the middle of the night and talking to herself. Her mother speculates there's some kind of entity in the room and the little girl is actually talking to it. I'm gonna show you guys the video right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. In the vast expanse of the internet, a video emerged on a UFO-focused website. It was shared by a user called Crew Chief. The video shows what appears to be a triangular UFO gliding through the darkness. An eerie sight indeed. <laughs> We're left with unanswered questions and room for speculation. This strange and thrilling video invites us to ponder its mysteries. In May 2021, 
a user named Kratos2191, shared a mysterious video on Reddit. The video was filmed in Beirut, Lebanon. As the sun was setting, something extraordinary happened in the sky. Three black dots aligned perfectly, forming a triangle. The narrator of the video, who had just finished watching a rugby match, captured this strange occurrence. And there are three unidentified flying objects elevating ahead. They're very strange in uh, they look to be like floating ships. There's somebody in a triangle formation. Always in a triangle formation. It looks to be somebody looking out of one. I wish my phone could uh, zoom in more. Somebody looking out of one. Somebody looking out of one. I wish my phone could uh, zoom in more. He couldn't believe his eyes as three unidentified flying objects rose in the sky. They appeared to be like floating ships, and one of them had someone inside looking out. The narrator wished he could zoom in more with his phone to get a better view. These three flying things were truly bizarre and puzzling. Their triangular formation remained intact as they moved through the air, but the most astonishing part came about 50 seconds into the video. The narrator whispered that it seemed like someone was peering out from one of the floating objects. A spine-chilling moment that made you wonder, could this sighting be real?